It seems like Brazilians wants to make up for all those years without a great attacker after Ronaldo, Nazario, Romario and Adriano. Now they are banking on players like Vinicius Jr, Rodrigo, Enric and Vitor Roque who we've talked about them in previous videos. But for now let's shift focus to a new left footed rising star in Brazil. He's playing alongside Enric in Palmeiras and hasn't signed with any big European teams yet. However, those European giants are keeping a close eye on him and eager to snatch up this incredible player as soon as they can. This player known as Messinho, a combination of Messi and Brazilian legends like Ronaldinho. Ladies and gentlemen, behold Estevão William. This video is created because of the suggestion from one of our valued subscribers. He requested this topic and we're excited to bring it to life. In this video, we're diving into the fascinating journey of Stevão William, exploring his beginning in football, his unique playing style, and the potential trajectory of his career in the world of football. Furthermore, we will speculate on the future of his career and whether we might witness the formation of a golden front line in Brazil. I don't know, but can this scary front line revive the magic of Brazilian football and bring back its beauty once again? Who knows? Join us to explore it. Let's go! Estevão's football journey began at Cruzeiro in Brazil when he was just 10 years old. Cruzeiro is the team that introduced the legendary Ronaldo R9 to the world of football and also some other players such as Dita, Julio Baptista and Vitor Roque. Hmm. Thanks to Cruzeiro for these amazing players, especially Ronaldo R9 definitely. Estevão didn't spend much time at Cruzeiro. He transferred to Palmeiras to join Enric as his teammate in the U17 team. This move marked an important chapter in Estevão's career as he embarked on a new journey alongside Enric and with the forging a partnership they helped themselves and their team. Estevão's performance was truly remarkable, scoring 9 goals and providing 4 assists in just 9 matches. Wow, it's incredible. Such an outstanding performance caught the attention of Brazil's U-17 national team selector. So he joined this squad in the U-17 FIFA World Cup. Estevão showcased his talent. He scored 3 goals and provided 3 assists in 5 matches. And despite Brazil's loss to Argentina and eliminated from the tournament, Estevão's eye-catching plays gained attention and showed him as a new rising star in Brazil. When he was younger, he dubbed himself Messinho in honor of his favorite player Lionel Messi and his dream team Barcelona. But the point is he's not playing like Lionel Messi, he's playing more like Neymar and other Brazilian football players rather than Messi. He's similar to a new version of Neymar but with his left foot. It's amazing and he usually plays as a right winger and if he keeps getting better he might even play as a number 10 position in the future. He has already proven himself as a promising star, as a great right winger. However, he needs to work on his physical strengths because compared to Hendrik and Roque, he's a bit weak. And if he doesn't improve in this aspect, he might get injured when playing in the adults team. But on the other hand, his incredible dribbling skills are truly captivating. Moreover, his goal scoring abilities is also remarkable. Now there are so many rumors swirling around him and European powerhouse like FC Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester City and Chelsea are closely monitoring his performance. But as far as Barcelona is his favorite team, seems like Barcelona could once again emerge as a contender, just like the competition scene in the pursuit to sign Vitor Roque. However, Barcelona has faced challenges due to the renovation of Camp Nou and financial problems. Even during the last summer and also in 2022, they focused on signing players at the lowest possible price or for free. For instance, they secured Lewandowski's service for just 45 million euros. But as far as Vitor Roque and Estevão share the same agent, he can be very close to sign with Barcelona. This scenario mirrors the situation with Vinicius Jr. and Enrique who were both represented by the same agent and leading to their signing by Real Madrid. Now we eagerly anticipated two exciting events. First, the thrilling El Clasicos with a full of Brazilian stars 
Then secondly, the possibility of witnessing one of the best Brazilian attacking line in history. Picture this, Hendrik as a center forward, Vinicius Jr. and Vitor Roca as the wingers, Estevão and Rodrigo supporting as a second striker. What do you think? So for more information about new generation of Brazilian football, watch these two videos about Hendrik and Vitor Roca. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.